absence of a label or placard does not necessarily mean the absence of a hazard. So the only way to know ultimately if you have a radiological hazard is through the use of detection and it's the one detector that can be on and should be on going out the door on the response. As far as container types, more important to me is the label because each label has um, limits on exposure rate at one meter from the package. And by knowing the label and then taking a measurement of the exposure rate, that's what tells me whether or not there has been damage to the container or you know, compromise of the shielding or if we have product outside the container.